I went to see a psychic once in Scotland, and I was asking him about traveling. It was 1981, I was traveling by myself, and I was terrified. I was about to catch a plane to India by myself, 1981. And I, that's why I went to see him, to see if I would be okay or safe. Somebody said, this guy's great, you have to go see him and ask him. But as soon as I got in there, he closed the door. He didn't know me, for sure. And he said, and looked at me and said, guitars, I see guitars all around you. I was like, and that's kind of who I am. Guitars are all around me. That's my way of seeing the world. I think of guitar making as uh, combining a bunch of disciplines. It's, it's obviously, there's the woodworking aspect of it. But because it's a musical instrument, I have to listen to what I'm doing. And so there's a musical aspect to it. But it's also scientific. There's a functional aspect to it because you're putting over 200 pounds of pressure on these skinny little pieces of wood. And if you don't do it right, it'll explode. So there's a, a balance between the right amount of wood and the right amount so the guitar is sensitive and it sings. And then there's the visual aspect of it, of what does it look like. And that's when you want it to be pretty. Uh, also, you want it to feel good. It has to, you know, if the guitar doesn't feel good when you pick it up and wrap your hands and your body around it, that's crucial. So it's all these disciplines. I was thrilled that this is what we were going to do, and um, the story unfolds from there. And each one of us either picked an artist or got assigned an artist, or we, it was very organic who decided who got to represent who. I ended up with Lauren Harris, kind of by accident, and I could not be more thrilled. And um, as I've gotten to know more about Lauren Harris, I started researching him, and I kind of have fallen in love with him as an artist, but also as a person. And I regret that it's impossible I could meet him. But uh, there's so many people who do know him, so I've been able to hear stories about him from people who knew his family or, you know, anecdotal things. It's just an incredible journey I've been able to take, studying him and his paintings. Before I start anything on the guitar, I have to have a map planned out completely. So I start drawing. And I do many, many drawings. This particular guitar, I wanted to have two necks because I wanted to have a harp section. The concept is based on the Mount Lefroy painting by Lauren Harris. So I'm gonna have one relatively normal neck, but the whole front of the guitar depicts Mount Lefroy. And because I'm having an extra neck, which is an extra mountain peak, Mount Lefroy doesn't have an extra neck, have an extra peak, so I'm gonna throw in another one of his paintings, and this is going to be an iceberg. So I'm kind of mashing up two of his paintings, and I hope he doesn't mind. So I start with this. This is the rough plan, and this is the bottom of Mount Lefroy. So you can see here, bottom matches this area. So now I get into practically how do I actually do this so it actually physically works on a guitar. So I had a bunch of options here and this was by far the most complicated part I've encountered so far in the building of this. I realized what I wanted to do was inspire people to be interested in his work. That was my number one goal. But now how do I do that? So I kind of imagined if Lauren Harris made a guitar, what would he do? This project is like a full circle of coming back to my roots, of these seven people who were so close at the beginning, and it's almost like the cap of a career, you know, it's like a great I'm not quite ready to say exit strategy because I'm still building, but it feels like perfect timing for us all to celebrate the special relationship that we have with each other and the love that we have with each other. And you know, this is my dysfunctional family that I've been <laughs> going through my life with. You know, knowing these people are there has been a great comfort to me. And I'm really, it's 
you know, just a blast to be able to do this with everybody and to honor these incredible painters. Mm -hmm.